I love Southeast Michigan. I was born and raised here. I remember when my parents would cart me off to soccer games and basketball games and Novi, Brighton, Livonia, South Lyon. And now living in Brighton, I'm able to do the same thing with my children. Whether we're kayaking at Kensington or walking around Main Street, attending one of the festivals or grabbing frozen yogurt together. That's what's great about Southeast Michigan, is that you can spend time with family and friends together, and it's a tight-knit community. And that's why I chose to open up my practice in Southeast Michigan, in Brighton, because that's where my passion is, is to help the families of Southeast Michigan protect what they have and preserve their quality of life. Our main office is in Brighton, right on Grand River, and then we have additional offices in Livonia, Bloomfield Hills, and Novi. So I did my undergrad at Grand Valley State in Grand Rapids. Uh, my undergrad was in finance and psychology. I got into the honors program there. And then from there, I went to Michigan State University College of Law, focusing on a corporate concentration. I'm one of, I think, 17 certified elder law attorneys in all of Michigan. A certified elder law attorney is the top designation that any attorney, any estate planning or elder law attorney uh, can reach. It's one of the few designations where you have to sit down, take an exam, and pass that exam. And only 30% of the attorneys that sit down and take the CELA exam actually pass it their first time. And I was the second youngest attorney in the nation to pass the CELA exam. I'm also an adjunct professor where I teach elder law at Western uh, Cooley Law School. And also, I've written a book called The Caregiver's Legal Guide to Planning for a Loved One with Chronic Illness. It provides a good how-to guide for caregivers who have a loved one who's suffering from Alzheimer's, dementia, Parkinson's, or just the frailties of aging, how to navigate that elder care journey. Nothing's more important than family time with me. I'm very protective of that time. Uh, some of the things that my kids, Ryan and Maddie and I love to do, we love to go downtown to the Sunday night concerts in downtown Brighton or, or go to the, the festivals. Uh, we just love walking around downtown. We love playing at the Imagination Station in downtown Brighton or walking around the Mill Pond. My son Ryan, he loves his piano lessons we're taking at the Music Man uh, right there on Grand River. The people I work with, they're all wonderful people uh, where a lot of times they'll get to know my children and, and my family as part of our process. The reason I'm so passionate about what I do is because I'm just genuinely helping families. I'm not taking anyone to court, I'm not fighting against anyone, I'm just protecting families, protecting their quality of life. Fortunately, our system's broken in the sense that the more assets, the more resources you have, the more choice you have, and the better quality of life. And it's my job as a certified elder law attorney to make sure that we protect whatever resources you have and then bring whatever other resources we can, whether it's from the community or, or from the government. Most of my clients, they're concerned about protecting their assets and the things that they love. And they've heard different things from different people. Maybe their neighbor said one thing or they went online and found something else out. Uh, but a lot of that is misinformation, and it's my job as a certified elder law attorney to help guide clients through uh, this legal long-term care maze, help them plan for what happens if they pass away, and help them plan for what happens if they don't, and they continue to age and face all the issues that go along with it. A lot of times clients don't realize all of the different ways that we can help pay for long-term care, uh, utilizing the little-known VA benefit, which can bring in an additional $1,000 to $2,000 a month to help pay for home care or assisted living. Or they think they need to spend all of their money to qualify for Medicaid, and that's just not the case. A lot of times families find that if they've come into our office one to two years earlier, we could have been bringing in extra $1,000 to $2,000 a month uh, over that time. And just the idea that I know that I'm just doing good, helping families, helping great families, helping great local families uh, protect their quality of life, it's so rewarding. Generally, the best way to get a hold of us is just to pick up the phone and call. We're always available to answer your questions. Feel free to give us a call at 888-390-4360. Or if you want to do a little bit more research, either about the elder care firm and what we do, or in estate planning or elder care in general, feel free to visit our website where there's a wealth of information at theeldercarefirm.com.